All right, welcome back everybody. It's Big Al. I've got another awesome challenge locking device uh, Simply called number four by Jeffrey Post and uh, I say simply called number four. Let me get zoomed in because uh, basically he sent me uh, several locks a little while back and um, he didn't name them uh, anything he just put his name on them so I got a hold of them and he just he just said you know put a name on them or a number so I didn't feel right naming them so I just numbered them so uh, this one's number four so uh, there's the bidding on the key sorry it is on the uh, Schlage looks like well not looks like it is uh, it does work beautiful it binds a little tiny bit going clockwise uh, but it does spin I mean it does work beautifully it's just for some reason it it kind of wants to bite when you go clockwise I don't know if you can hear that but uh, counterclockwise it spins like a champ so we'll see uh, doesn't look too scary on the bidding but I tell you what um, I have two fails already on his uh, the one I, I call uh, number six from Jeffrey Post I've already had two fails on it so I'm I'm going to see if I have any better luck with this one. <laughs> uh, so let's get at it. I'm going to drop my, uh, since it is a Schlag, drop my little uh, shotgun or toothpick, whatever you want to call it, in the bottom here. So, uh, and I have had a couple people uh, ask about those and what it does. Basically, you just take the bottom, take a Schlag key, and literally just take your Dremel and just cut this bottom piece off right here leave a little nub like I did here so you can pull it back out just grind all that grind it all away you're not going to use the key you're just going to use that bottom piece right there which is this part and you shove it in there and what it does is uh, keeps your pick from dropping down into the gutter right here when you're picking otherwise you got to kind of you keep you your pick will keep flopping down in there but when you got this guy in the bottom it doesn't do that it gives you just something for the pick to ride off of so that's my little two cents on that uh, I didn't that's not my invention I, I got that I think actually from uh, Trekmaster 30s the first first person I saw uh, with one of those and I copied so not my idea but I love it okay we got that in there stop blabbering get a uh, nice thick tensioner in the top there top of the keyway focused in good I'm gonna start the timer now okay I'm gonna start off with this little sparrows nub and then I'll probably move up to the sparrows uh, sh I guess short hook those are my uh, favorite picks for these uh, Schlage type keyways well the sparrows picks are all my favorite picks I love sparrows so excited they came out with that dimple pick set I ordered once as fast as I could I think I'm on four. It's not wanting to move though. Three abs. I think it's four. I think I might have overset that. Yeah, I'm not sure where that wants to be right now. There's a lot of kind of clicking and popping. Let me switch that other pick. Maybe I can get a little, a little higher up in there. Things nasty, boy. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch to counterclockwise. Maybe that'll change up the uh, binding order. I 
That might have helped. Yeah, now I got a false set when I touch two. Now I got some major counter right. Let me see. I think it's pin one. See that? Okay. A little more. Ooh. Oh, we got her. Beautiful. Okay. Alrighty then, uh, let me uh, stop the timer. Well, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> okay. Uh, get that thing out of the bottom there. Get zoomed out. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Alright. I needed that. That was kind of some uh, redemption after getting uh, whooped a couple times on his, um, on his other one there. Okay, so we're very much open. Uh, we do have a key, so I'll lock it back up. Put this in the center here. Let me go. My this way. Okay. All right. Bada boom, bada bang. Let's uh, get this thing off the back here. dog barking don't know if I needed a uh, shim in there but I always like to use one if I can okay the pins are going to be over there ish yep right there okay beautiful a little five pinner they're all occupied they all needed picking. Let's get them laid out. Did some work to these. Okay, let's take a look at the core. We've got, doesn't look like nothing done to the core. That's fine. Sometimes less is more. So no mods to the core. Nice. I've been doing that myself lately. Um, just going with the uh, less is more concept. Trying not to tear up the lock so much and still make a, a damn good challenge lock if, well, if I can. I don't like tearing them up too much. Okay, we've got a nicely uh, double serrated in one tell you what they are pretty they're done well uh, standard in number two standard spring oh yeah deep deep uh, let me see if I can hold that up deep I call that more like a spool and number three. Well, them dogs sure know when to get activated, huh? Uh, okay, that was three, so four. Four is another one of those really deep. It's almost, I would call that upside down, because I would have probably put that, let me hold this up, that sharp end flipped the other way. But, I mean, I guess, well, as long as it sit, uh, sits down into the core good enough, which I believe it did, that would work fine and dandy, too. I'm going to put it just how it came out. Okay. Looks like some different springs in there, too. Well played, sir. And number five, we got a standard. Keep things lined up with those standard pins. So there's not a lot of flop in the core. Okay. And the Bible. Yep, I can see threading in one. I 
think only threading in one. Yep, yeah, that's all I see. Threading in chamber one. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up. Give it a shot. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so that was uh, simply number four. I'm going to put uh, Jeffrey Post's name on the top. Like that. Alrighty. Take a close up on some of these beautiful pins. They are beautiful. They're well made, man. I'm going to bring the camera flat down. Like so. So we're looking straight down at the pins. I haven't been doing that. I've been looking at them at an angle and it, you really can't see the, the work too good. Okay, so key pin number one, uh, serrated, same in number two and three. And then four, we got this, they're, it's double serrated, but they're, they're just fine serrations, just enough, just enough to, to, to mess with you a little bit. And then, uh, sorry, that was four, so five. And then we got this kind of, uh, almost spool action down here at the tip and then a serration on the top. I don't think this part right here comes into play when you're picking but uh, this part will, this serration in the top. Uh, drivers, we got a uh, almost double spool you can call that and then a standard in two a uh, again almost a spool because that's a that's a wide serration and then uh, four serrated with a sharp top on it um, we got a standard and five, and then we got slightly different springs. Uh, looks like steel, steel, copper, steel, and steel, but they are they do vary, so you're going to get different uh, tensions out of those. Okay, thank you all so much for watching, um, and uh, my subscribers just keep going up, and it's really freaking me out. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. It's just cool as snot. Okay, uh, there it is. Beautiful pins from Jeffrey Post. Thank you all so much. Big Al, signing off.